Jim, how are you connected to the USGS's shakeout earthquake scenario? Our office, our department, uh, our city are, are very, very willing partners in the USGS uh, shakeout scenario and everything that will take place on the day of the shakeout. We see it as a very strong, very genuine outreach to the community and an education uh, opportunity to let our folks know what will happen in the event of a catastrophic earthquake. And how is your office in particular using the, the science presented in this scenario? I think the operative word, the key word there is, is science. Uh, we have a scenario that's based on the work of some very diligent, very uh, prolific scientists in USGS who've worked this issue for years and, and now they've come up with a scenario that, that we can believe in, we can trust, and that helps educate the public. Uh, an aware public, an educated public is a, a public that's much more able to prepare for a catastrophic earthquake, more importantly, uh, to rebound from the effects of a catastrophic earthquake. Okay, and, and Jim, what are, what are you most proud of or excited about about this, about the Great Shakeout, and, and what, why do you think it's important? The, for me, the significance, uh, if, I could, if I have to be, uh, nail down to one issue, the significance of the Great Shakeout is how far-reaching it is. Uh, millions of people will participate in, in this event and the awareness that the, this represents is, is huge. I mean, how often do we have millions of the, the very dynamic, very pluralistic American society participate and focus on one event or one type of event? When, when, you, when you talk about science, what science or what the science of, of, of the great shakeout scenario does for me is it, it, it puts things in perspective. When I, I gaze out my window, I realize that every, every building, every high rise I can see from the 15th floor here in City Hall in Los Angeles will be impacted by this catastrophic earthquake. The science of the great shakeout has allowed me to bring that perspective home. From, from your perspective, if there were one thing you could tell the public, what would you tell them? Education and awareness are key to preparedness. Uh, a prepared people uh, are people who can take care of themselves. The more prepared we are, the better we are to, to take care of ourselves. In, in that first half hour, that first tw those first 24 hours, and the first 72 hours, et cetera, and more importantly, our ability to be prepared causes us to be much more resilient so we can rebound and spring back from a, cat a catastrophe such as this.